Hi, Rapstein of Linden Associates with your morning flash update for Federal Reserve Day. Yep, it's Wednesday, the 20th of March, 2019, and at 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time, we'll hear from the Fed in their statement. At about 1.30, the press conference with Fed Chair Powell will begin. The market is expecting the dot plots today, and that's important. You get the dot plots about every three months. And you can get up to 19 of the total Fed members of the regional banks, 12 of them, seven of the voting members to come in. And they'll give an idea on the dot plots as to what their thoughts are going out about three years. You know, three years, forget that. It's the near term that everybody likes to look at. And the guess is that there's one rate hike possibly left this year. Some think none. And then after that, potential for declines in the interest rates. We'll see. But the stock market, probably today a lot of evening up in front of that, and that's what I'm expecting is going on. Metals try to rally today. Again, they ran into a resistance area, seem to be slipping back. The dollar index versus the other currencies, well, everything's going to hinge on these interest rates, what the Fed is saying. And obviously in the press conferences, uh, Mr. Powell gets a chance to explain the Fed's point of view the algorithms take over and the trading occurs. Keep your eye as you can right here on the energies. They've run into something of a resistance zone. Yesterday they had a solid API declines right across the board in the products and in the, uh, in the crude stocks themselves and it didn't respond bullish. When you don't get a bullish response off a bullish report, you pay attention. In the notes in the bonds, the market is obviously getting itself in a position to see what's going to happen, and the traders are making their bets on what the FOMC does. And in the grain markets, at best, you're having problems getting any form of a rally to hold. That's probably the best thing I could say about it. The Federal Reserve today ends its two-day policy meeting, as I said, at the one. You get the statement, the market will react to that, and then the press conference. Generally, the first 20, 30 minutes of the press conference where you get the more action then. TV appearance today by China's Premier Li said the government will work to maintain economic growth between 6 to 6.5% in uh, 2019 while seeking high-quality development opportunities. I wonder what that means. I, I still think that's that 2025 bailed. UK Prime Minister May, she's making a request for a June 30th extension. That's going to be problematic for her, and that's one of the reasons you're seeing Brexit coming down. She's not asking, number one, for a long-term extension. That gets certain of her cabinet upset. The other part is you got the uh, elections in Europe coming up on the 23rd of May, and I think the EU is going to demand that then the UK vote in those. They hold elections. The UK doesn't want to. You've got a mess. It's the simple way to state it. One of the things we're going to do today and have an opportunity to do is we'll probably do a lot of writing today about what the Fed does, where the reactions come in, how it affects the different markets. So we'll take a look at that because the impact and how the dollar reacts to everything will be important right across this whole uh, sector. Of course, in the meat markets, you know that you're still talking about will pork get bought by China in grains? Well, even if they want to start buying, they've got a, a big, big amount of South American grain that they can buy at this point. But we'll cover all this. And if you haven't seen what we write for commodity traders, I think you should because it's geared to one thing, the futures and the options on futures trader. Call us. You can go to our website. If you go to our website, it's a carousel of free offers. Sign up there and for anything else that you might think you'd like. In the meantime, I'm I. Rapstein. I'll see you at the end of the day updates. It's going to be an interesting trade day. Trade well.